Greetings, everyone, and welcome back, Destroyers, to Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, a Ubisoft original. Original, not, not game, not movie, just original. So I would like to thank each and every one of you for stopping by today, tonight. And as always, remember that we are destruction. Well, without further ado, it's time to continue. Or I guess to start this uh, idea, right? Ah, uh, Deluxe Edition, look at that! The Deluxe Edition includes in-game content such as the Immortal Outfit, the Prosperity Bird Amulet uh, to reveal hidden treasures, and Far Repo's Notebook, Digital Adventure Guide. Bro, one of those is cheap. It literally tells you where all the treasures are. That's, uh, that's some BS. He was alternative. I was gonna say, if you have a Prince of Persia game and one of the audio languages is in Persian, what are you doing? I'll give you a, I'll give you a point for that. How authentic can we get this? I mean, if there's subtitles for the game, then it doesn't matter what language we pick, right? Rookie, for those who want to enjoy the story with minimal challenges, warrior balance combat experience with some challenges on your path. This is the standard difficulty of the game. A challenging combat experience with those familiar with action games. This intense difficulty level may, it leaves no room for mistakes in combat. Why do I want to play hero? That's where depletion rate, dodge window normal, parry difficulty normal. Enemy damage, enemy health, environments of damage. Maybe we play warrior first and then we'll see if we can pick it up to hero afterwards, alright? Demo version. This demo features a custom set of areas, time powers, athro surges, and amulets so you can experience the main gameplay features. And stay story spoiler free. That's cool. So it's not a reflection of the game? For this demo, some specific paths are selected are sealed to provide a more straightforward experience. Discover and explore the interconnected world of Mount Q? Quaff? Quaith? And the full game. Alright, parry, dodge, rain attack, gas rush surge, position, memory shard, melee jump, range attack. Well, we'll, we'll figure it out while we play the game, right? Deje Bostani. The old Citadel. Anohito Shoso de Gasson was in Darvasabot. Should I read it, or should we just read it? <laughs> Anahita took Prince Gassan behind the scenes. I can't fathom why Anahita would do such a thing. You know her best, what do you make of it? Oh, that's the character we are. We're Sargon. That doesn't make sense. She has always been. She wants to seize power for herself. Oh, what do you even mean? The Simmer had disappeared, but the mighty god used to live on the Mount Quaif, and perhaps still does. It'll be funny when we switch it to English and see if I got any of these uh, pronunciations even close. And it has always been the Simmer who appoints future kings and queens. I wish to receive the Sinerge blessing. Well, why kidnap Prince Gassan? 
دروازه معبد سیمور فقط برای افراد خانواده سلطنه only open for members of the royal family. never get the Samaric's blessing like that. Okay, Ubisoft. I, 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 I thought this wasn't going to be like part of the story or explode anything. can't be certain. After all, the Samaric may be weakened. But... One thing's for sure, Prince Kassan is in danger. She will kill him once she has no need for him. Immortals, follow me. Let's help Adashir and find Prince Kassan. Wait for me here. Don't worry. I won't be long. Level one. All the royal road. There's no double jump. What game is this? Oh, we got a backflip though. That's actually cool. I picked normal, but I really wanted to play warrior. If I don't know, I, I think we should play it like this, and then after I finish it, I can replay it on uh, higher difficulty. Unless you think it would be a better experience for you guys if I just start off on uh, warrior. You, you let me know right now, all right? How do I cancel? Okay, triangle. Or X. Is there a block or parry? Ooh, sidestep. And they're incognito. How you doing? Uh oh, well, we lost it. No, 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 uh, the one, I picked normal. So there's rookie, normal, warrior. Warrior's the one I wanted to play. You know what, you know, let's just go straight to warrior. Let, let, let's see how bad, uh, uh, how bad I am if I pick a difficulty that I'm not used to. Yeah, I picked, okay, okay, never mind. I, okay, wow. So I picked warrior, but I guess I wanted to play hero. So let's play hero and see how bad it gets. Stream a second time, right? Maybe even a third time, depending on how uh, how fast I finish this. I don't. What's the worst that can happen? Oh boy, you're in for it now. Oh, you you guys come here for entertainment, not for good gameplay. So let the rage begin. Oh, I like that wall running. Or, is that wall running? It looks like wall running, but it probably isn't. Ooh! It's like we were and still died quite a few times? Yeah, I probably should have not died. Hope you have fun with Secure Breach. I'm noticing that there's, there's different combos for the buttons to press. Not that one though. Also, don't know if it's just me, but the stream. See, uh, let me take a look. It's most likely not you at all. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. Uh, yeah, hopefully it just gets there. That's all I can say about that. Mogadas Tarine Kuha. Oh, most secret of mountains. Ablan in Jomadi? Been here before? Nah, I'm Mother Barash Hunda. It's funny how they make the characters like Darius Bude. It's like, we'll animate that, but we won't animate these characters actually talking to each other. No, but I've read about it. This place was once the site of King Darius's place. Darius? More combat? Religion, medicine, astrology, geometry, algebra, all knowledge was gathered here. Accessible to all. Mount Koraf was home to a great citadel of wisdom, the pride of all Persians. And what happened? No one survived to tell the tale, and to think that Prince Ghassan is caught up in all this. 
Who knows what might await us? Oh, can you charge that? Also, oh, holding in lets you run. There's a lot of mechanics in this side schooler game. It's it's just your average platformer game, right? Also, I don't feel like there's a way to get up there. You gotta do like a back jump. No. We'll find a way up there later. Oh, maybe it's something like you like, jump on here. Oh, 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 oh! That's the gamer brain at work. Gamer brain, go! Oh. I didn't know you could interact with the pack. Well, they obviously let you go up here for a reason. You can break that. Also, let me make sure I'm not covering something with my camera. Oh, I'm covering like literally the health and whatever that potion is. Okay, I probably have to move there, right? Oh, maybe you shoot it. No. Sad face. Uh oh. Okay, we're just gonna continue because I guess, uh, you gotta know how to get up there. Well, it's a Metroidvania, right? So maybe I'm supposed to come back there with like a power bomb and then that's how you open up that grate or whatever. Nice background. What is this sorcery? Hey there, Clementine. How you doing? I'm a warrior, not a sir. Seer. Frozen as it falls. As if time had stopped. Here, not everything is what it seems. Let's be cautious. I'm good, Quaze and Layla are by my side. Your swords? Yes, they have never betrayed me. I, I, let me check if I can talk to the other people again. Okay. Lore! Lore, we know what his weapons are named. Layla and the other one. Oh, you can kick him. Airwolf Games, how you doing? Who knows what I made? What might, oh, wait, I thought they were already right there. <laughs> Question overall, was it you that wanted me to try out that uh, Alisa demo? Or was it a different demo you wanted me to try out? I should incognito. Um, I'm still waiting for the collection to go on sale, and then if you want me to, I'll get it, and then we can play them and see how bad I am at them. Map unavailable. Nevertheless, I really enjoyed it. We gotta go there. It'd be cool to see a new gamer play a game that everyone enjoys and loves, but play it terribly. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think that would make a lot of people angry. 
This is a demo for Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. This game, I want to say, came out like a month ago, but I never uh, had time or was able to play the demo. And you know what? I'm like, let's play the demo today. Not because I'm going to delete it and make some space for my PS5 after we play this. But because I want to try it out. And then we'll delete it after. Well, it's, uh, I guess it's like a classic 2D record game. Stay sharp, something is not right here, we must proceed with caution. Sherman Elliot can scurry from the shadows to shadow like fighting for I'm serious all right, there's a strange presence here. I can feel it too, there's only one way to find out. Let's go then. Nice. Everyone dies by my character. Oh, are you talking about that mod? Yeah, it looks like a nice mod. No, I was actually Bahram, acting bad at my end as well. This game's too powerful for the piece of shit. Long dead, judging by the law. We're stuck here. We're not welcome here. Stay in regard, we will find the prince and on Huta. We don't go anywhere, you will slow me down, you're on your own. I guess we're just on our own, everyone just like jumped it straight into space, right? Of course they leave me as soon as this happens, right? Level 1, we die. Ooh, okay, okay, I see, I see, I see. So we're gonna die by the time we fight the next enemy, right? Also, I think we're getting the non-VR physical release for Help Wanted 2 in the fourth month of this year? What, April? Isn't that when everyone said, like, that's when, uh, the flat mode's supposed to come out? Oh! Yeah, it's over. It's over. Oh, I don't want to dodge though. I want to parry. Well, um, game over. <laughs> I, I will say it has a nice game over screen. Okay, our first parry. First parry. You're gonna be seeing a lot of that? That's not good. Ooh, so you're gonna have to do a double parry if two people fight you at the same time then, huh? That's interesting. That's interesting. All right, this is, this is the part where we learn about the game. All right, all right. Seems like we're building meter every time we're fighting and parrying, though. That was very bad. Damn it. <laughs> so 
So R2 to dodge when they do an attack like that. And I guess L2 to parry if you want to be able to cut back afterwards. That one I'm trying to figure out though. Like when their eyes go yellow, am I just supposed to block that or is that supposed to be a perfect parry? Are you guys ready for the FNAF 2 movie? Uh, a company buys the store or the restaurant where the crazy shit happened and they're like, we're gonna do this in the modern day and era. We're gonna give the robots like uh, uh, the security features that we'll be able to like scan someone and like know if they're good or bad. So they're just gonna do FNAF 2, but instead of FNAF 2 being a prequel, it's gonna be a sequel. Although that's probably gonna piss people off. Then again, when are fans or something always going to stop looking at. What? Oh, I guess that's my super attack, right? That was kind of cool. How is that not a parry? That's pretty easy. I'd rather theaterize about into the pit game. Uh, I guess? I wouldn't say it's easy to theorize about something that no one knows any uh, information about, but hey, you do you. Maybe that's for something later? Fun, that's good. I'm surprised they even got that parry off. So if you parry that yellow attack, you get like an insta-kill? Not gonna lie, I don't think we're actually gonna see Springtrap at all in the second movie. It would make zero sense, too. Also, Into the Pit was supposed to be at PAX East same, uh, same time as Hope 1 and 2, but they hold it off. But that should tell you it's a FNAF special game to play. Didn't they also bring security breach to PAX East as well? Or am I wrong about that? Bringing a game to a big event doesn't mean it's gonna be a good game. No offense. I mean, we're definitely gonna be able to use that to go up. Hey, look at that. Yeah, but that was just for fun. Uh, I don't think companies do stuff for fun. I think they do it for marketing and for money. Shit. Oh, no fall damage. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That's kind of cool. Well, to be fair, you could say a uh, security breach being playable at an event would be special as well, right? Like you said, special doesn't mean good. So yeah, I don't think they <laughs> they let anyone play Security Breach before that shit came out because of how bad it was. But yeah, I remember playing a couple games at some events and being like, yo, this is trash. Mighty Simurg. The bird of knowledge. The Simurg holds the key to all truth. He is the guardian of time and destiny, keeping everything in balance. Infinite power resides in his feathers. His protective flight brings peace and prosperity to Persia. Those lucky enough to be touched by his shadow are forever t protected from all from the forces of evil, and misfortune will befall anyone who tries to harm him. Let the poets sing of his exploits. Wait, there's more? 
There we go. Let philosoph philosophers meditate on his teaching. Let warriors gain his wisdom. I mean, special as in mainline, but hey, FNAF is a media franchise at the end of the day, right? Exactly. So, All I'm saying is, like, well, it's not special to me that a game would be showed off at that event, right? But don't let that take away from uh, from you if you are actually excited for that game. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to hold my breath until I actually see gameplay of the game. Press up to drink a potion? Isn't that for health? Why would I want to do that, though? I'm not a noob. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That was kind of bad. That's probably for something. I don't know what those crystals do, but they're probably for something. You know what's the worst thing about this game? It costs way too much money. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, I'll do that one. Like, there's nothing wrong with a game like this in today's day and age, but... When, when, when you set it at a AAA game price... It's gotta be, like, the craziest shit of all time. You can't just make another Metroidvania and call it a day. Or... Make another Metroidvania and expect people to pay AAA prices for that. That that's probably my biggest issue with this game. It's not bad. It's fun, but it's like goddamn. I was. Wait, what? Are you uh, are you talking about the uh, into the pet game? Okay, no, uh, no stun. No stun. It, I can only see modern audiences getting... enjoying this if you play this on easy or normal. Yeah? Uh-oh. All I can say is I've never heard of Mega Cat Studios, but if you're being worried, then I'm not getting excited. I tried a game that was similar to Into the Pit. It was spooky as heck. Well, that means uh, Steel is definitely not gonna, or uh, the company's definitely not gonna make it a scary stupid game. There are games that work well and hard? That is a statement. I thought it was going to be uh, Steel Wolf Studios that was making the FNAF game. Now it's some studio I've never heard of, which is not getting me excited for the game. Damn it. My god, there's too many bad mask art horror games like Garden and Bandai and Muzzy, etc. I, I guess. I don't even know what a Muzzy is, but I just ignore those games. Play the games that you want to.
I'll play it first. The game? Yeah. Like, I mean, be excited for it. But I'm just saying I'm not going to say anything until I see gameplay of it. When they show a trailer of the game and what it, what you can do in it, then let's go, right? But if it's some, like, like, team game where you just avoid spring trap, sounds like FNAF 3 at that point. Maybe, but if people keep on playing Garden of Bam Bam, you can't get mad at the developers for making more chapters, right? The only reason they're making that many chapters is because people are playing them, which is making them money, so... Oh, you're telling me I just can't use my Samus cannon to just shoot them from afar and call it a day? I thought this was a metroidvania! Damn, this weapon sucks. There we go. I guess you can do that. It'll just take a while. Ow! Alright, I'll take a look at that. I wasn't able to find that in the PS store, but then again, sometimes you gotta like go out of your way to find it. I knew it was like a one-worded like title though, so thank you very much for that. Jokes on you! The Castlevania side's almost entirely melee focused, right? And that's why you said almost, because you know everyone just uses the goddamn cross to just throw that shit around as a projectile weapon. I wonder if this is how the game starts off, though, because it kind of just goes, yeah, you're fighting these creatures and, uh, yeah, we're just fighting them. So it's weird, when I want to, well, maybe I just got to shoot it like that, okay. So you just got to quickly aim at the direction you want to use the bow and press the button, because if you, like, hold it to try and, like, get an angle, you do this, like, different attack. I would say Fortnite's still good. I would actually be playing that right now if I wasn't, um... Should I stuck with Warrior? I don't know about that. I still think it's good. I'd rather play that than any other uh, multiplayer game I could think of. No, Desco, because I am not Prince of Persia the Warrior Within, alright? We're champions. <laughs> oh my god, they're throwing grenades now. Up slash. Wow, that actually made him go last. Combos? So they basically just made this like the Old Man Cry. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Fortnite is causing me head pains because of the upcoming content that I'm nearly quitting to get the snake skin. The what? I mean, you still have a month to get snake. You don't need to get him right now. A sweat like me could say you can get snake in like an hour or two, but that's only because I know how to like do missions as quickly as possible to uh, save time. 
If you need help getting Snake World, you can just join us and we can help you with those quests. They added fishing to LEGO Fortnite, so I gotta take a look at what they've added. And you're not wrong, Clementine. LEGO Fortnite is boring, but I can say Minecraft is boring. But obviously, it's not a boring game if it's uh, popular and a lot of people play it. It's just uh, I gotta find uh, I gotta find the fun in LEGO Fortnite. And for me, I think the fun is playing with all of you. So. If we have time today, we'll uh, play some LEGO Fortnite tonight. If not, we'll do uh, tomorrow. They should add dungeons too. Well, they are going to add all those things eventually. You know what makes your cross mark funny to me? Tell me. Tell me, that, tell me like the first three Castlevania games, the cross actually isn't like a throwable weapon. Or am I thinking of Ghosts and Ghouls where the cross is a projectile weapon? I'm probably thinking of Ghosts and Ghouls. I'm an idiot. You, you just got to remember I'm an idiot. Which is never a defense for my dumb takes, but uh... <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta be, don't be too mean on me. <laughs> it's only used by the main protagonists in around half of the Iggy Vanias? Interesting. Also, because you brought uh, his name up, we gotta play some uh, Bloodstain. Gotta play some Bloodstain. I tried Force Night Festival mode and I'm trash on it. Uh, make sure you play on easy, and even if you play on easy and you don't like it, well, there's, it's, it's at, at the end of the day, it's a rhythm game. Like, I enjoy Guitar Hero, but it's not much different from, like, Dance Dance Revolution. You're just using your fingers instead of your feet, right? Sinrog protecting the Sinrog is justice in the measure of all things, from the plains of forest to the Nile Valley, the protective shadow of his majestic flight tempers the warmth lavished by Mithra. The ears of wheat, barley... Agilopes and einkorn turn ripe without drying out. The harvests are prosperous, prosperous and feed the people. As long as his wings grace the Persian sky, happiness and prosperity will reign. We're gonna have to fight this bird, aren't we? Penny's big bit route breakaway? No. No, the cross is good in most of Castle Games? Alright. Oh wait, that's not enough? You know they added other things other than fishing, but you gotta go through the patch notes to actually, like, see what they added. It's made by Mania Devs? Which game? So this is this a save? Tell me if it's a save. Ooh, and this is how you upgrade? Hey, I'm bad at rhythm games too. Don't even worry about that. Oh, these are your powers, I guess. Launch a powerful cross slash attack above Sargon. Very useful against flying enemies. Can be triggered from the ground or in the air. Bayou's wave. Release a powerful unfurling wave of Athra. Aethra, that pushes back the enemy. The end of the move can be interrupted. That's the one I did by accident. Can be triggered from the ground or in air. Bah man's breath. Create an explosion in a healing zone that gradually restores health. Nearby enemies are pushed back, can only trigger from the ground. That's a pretty good one. Can I just equip any one of these? Model increases all melee attack range in the air. Restores health after... Oh, I want a successful parry. Let's go. I was going to say, can we just add all of them? Convert a small amount of damage taken into Athro buildup. That's good. Uh, trigger area damage at the Chakram's position by pressing triangle. Moderately increases the radius of the area of effect in the number of hits. Five, uh, fire five arrows along a broad sweep. The power of each arrow is barely reduced. Aw, not good. Dodge on the spot using up uh, R2. Ooh, against incoming attacks, dealing moderate damage by moving behind the enemy. That's cool. Land the fifth attack at the end of an extended combo. Press square right when the fourth attack hits the enemy. I kind of like this one. I kind of like this one. And I kind of like that one.
It would be on PS2 and Nintendo 64. You're not wrong, and that's another thing too. Like, the art this game has an art style that I don't mind, but people are gonna see this and be like, it, it looks like a mobile game, which kind of does. And there's nothing wrong with a game looking like this. It's just when you start charging a hundred plus dollars for a game like this that people go, why? <laughs> what are you doing here? This place is too dangerous for a child. Don't worry about me. I know the Citadel better than anyone. I know every step. I even go where others can't. I chatted and argued with every creature. Ah, uh, yeah, I saw the trailer. Um, so unless you want me to talk negative, there's reasons why I don't bring things up. And I know every tree here. Like this one? Are they all like this? These trees are special. They're called Wack Wack. Wack, -wack? And have the purest of Astro. So stand beneath its leaves and restore your energy. There are many Wack Wack trees throughout Mount Quad. Tell me, you say you know all here. We're in search of soldiers like us. Our prince is being led by an, a general. Have you seen anyone like that? A prince. There hasn't been a prince here in so long. I've only seen you. Well, if you've lost your friend in Mount Quaff, then you're going to need an eye of the one. What's that? It's a very rare, very ancient thing. It's here, for you. Oh, you just have it? I'll take it. This magic eye, uh, glass eye gives the bearer, its bearer, the ability to map all of Mount Quest. Oh, is that her map? Hey, the map. That's cute. It's oh, a real. Oh, we can add markers. That's that's even better. I've never played the Borderlands game, so I don't really have an opinion for the movie. And uh, that's uh, that's probably the best opinion I've heard. Not gonna lie. I actually did play Borderlands one when it first came out. I played the whole entire game with my friend, and without spoiling anything, probably the worst, uh, well, I, I guess it's one of those games where, like, the journey is better than the destination, because that destination made me go, I am never playing this game or series ever again, because that was a waste of fucking time. But the journey to, to the end was good. It was good. It's just, the payoff, I think everyone can agree, was BS, but uh, that's okay. But uh, if I compare the first game to the movie, it's not really the same, but at the end of the day, like any video game movie, it's meant for ma uh, ma major audience, it's not meant for the fans, so it's mostly going to be the fans that don't enjoy the movie, which that sucks, but uh, oh well. Here, I might as well show you a neat trick to remember this plane on Minecraft. Here, let me put this game's length into perspective. If you're telling me we're only like 1% into the demo, we might have to end this right now. It's how long left for just beating the main stories longer than Warrior Within? Let's go. That's that's pretty good. That's That's not bad at all. No, um, I, I stopped playing Borderlands after the last DLC came out, and I, I never looked back. The best thing I could say about Borderlands is that a Zombie Island DLC was probably one of the best DLCs I've ever played in my life. It was pretty cool that you could only kill the zombies by a headshot. That, that was actually pretty cool. It made you have to go for specific accurate builds back in the day, instead of just getting a gun that does lots of damage or some shit. But, um... Yeah, I, I didn't play 2, I didn't play the other one, so I don't really know much about the Borderlands lore, so I can't even be too angry at the trailer or anything. I will say, though, I played as Mordecai in Borderlands 1, and they don't have him in the movie, so I'm kind of just like, well, there's no reason for me to go watch the movie, so well, I don't care. There's a story choice version of Borderlands? Yeah, I think it's called Tales of the Borderlands, which, sadly enough, apparently is the best story in the whole entire series, so... 12 hours versus 16? Shit. 
ID. What? Memory shards. Increase the number of memory shards. Don't forget to capture images of your surroundings regularly to add them to the map and come back to later. Mooncraft is a full of unreachable passages and treasures which you can access once you've found new abilities. It's important to memorize all these places. And that's it, yeah, right? And there's also extra stuff so you can go for it. Use a memory shard to capture an image of the environment which will automatically be saved on your map. Don't forget to capture images of your surroundings regularly to add them to the map and come back to them later. Cool. Thank you, miss. I don't know your name. Fariba, my name is Fariba. I'm Sargon, warrior of the immortals. Oh, doesn't that sound impressive? Oh, Sargon, I'm sure we'll meet again in Mount Clay. I'll share my discoveries with you when I can, but I need time crystals to do it. Time crystals? Welcome to my quaif. No! We want that chest. That's how you do it. What? Okay, maybe you gotta do the sprint, jump, sprint there. Ah, oh, yes, you're not using my brain. But uh, if I gotta say anything positive, um, yeah, if you're not a fan of the series or haven't played the games, I think the movie might not be bad. It's going for a Guardians of the Galaxy type of vibe, so I don't know. I, I don't see how that can be a bad thing. This game can't be the length of Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Speed? Well, of course it can't, because one's an open world game that's trying to pretend it's an Assassin's Creed game, and the other is in the, it's the, the Prince of Persia game that's trying to be a bit more like the classic uh, side scroller game compared to the 3D games that we got kind of got used to in the 360 era. I think the actual game itself is probably shorter if you know the correct route, however it's- a, exactly, and the metroidvania part of uh, this game can- will make a player vary with their gameplay, right? Shit, like, I, I think if you check how long it would take a normal person to beat a- what was it? The Mummy D Master? It would probably be like a two hour game, maybe even one and a half. But an idiot like me that's never really played these types of games? Shit, I think it took us like two streams to beat that game, right? Around six hours? But hey, I'm not going to complain about a game giving me a lot of uh, people. It's just, if it takes uh, someone like two hours to beat a game, it's probably going to take me double or triple the amount of time. Exactly! Like, if you, if you know what you're doing, where you're going, then that kind of defeats the fun of the exploration part, right? Even when we were playing Elisa earlier, I'm like, I don't know where we're going, but I'm having fun just going into the unknown and seeing what's going to happen. How long to beat is mostly just gathering length of casual playthroughs. It gives the... Oh wow, okay. That's, uh, I guess, pretty close to how long it took us to beat it then. That's not bad. FNAF is the most is the FNAF game that I enjoy the most. The first till Ultimate Custom Night are very hard for me. SB is easier. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you enjoy SB because it's easier or you enjoy it that much, then nothing wrong with that. At the end of the day, that's your feelings, uh, and that's your opinion, and nothing can ever take that away from you. Oh, it gives you health? That's not bad. That was a fun Metroidvania game. I feel like the only Metroidvania games I could play are ones where you have a projectile weapon most of the time. So, like a, a Metroid game or Mummy D Mastered, right? I don't know how I would fare with like a Castlevania game where we're just like whipping all the time. This game at least gives me some projectile weapons. And even if it didn't, it has a pretty unique uh, combo system that makes it akin to like the fighting game at that point. No, this was a game that I was very interested in trying out and playing. It's just. It came out in a time that a lot of video games were coming out in, and, um...
Yeah, I still don't think it's worth like that much money. But then again, this is made by the same company that uh, called Skull and Bones a quadruple a, a quadruple style game or triple or triple A game. So. Ubisoft expects you to give your hard-earned money for anything they make nowadays. Ow, I was even going to say that looks like a trap too. For reference, Metroid 2 is given a 4 and a half hour rating, but my first run took just over 7 hours of in-game time. I was an idiot, and now I can't comfortably beat it in under 2, and that's nothing, there's, that's pretty badass, nothing wrong with that. But I, I think I can speak for all Metroidvania fans when I say there's nothing like the first run of a Metroidvania game. And even though someone can be like, well, you haven't played Castlevania or Metroidvania, so shut the fuck up and start here. I'll be like, don't be too mean, because even though I haven't, I did enjoy the Mummy D Mastered, and sadly, I don't think I'll ever be able to experience that game the way I did the first time. Actually, that's not true. I can. I just rewatch my VOD, and that's why I make uh, these streams anytime I play a new game, right? But, but yeah, like, if I play the Mummy D Master right now, I kind of know what I'm expecting. I kind of know what to go for, so... It, it won't be that same first time experience, right? Area 3 still fucks you up. Shit. I never heard of this game till now. To be f well, nothing wrong with that, Clementine. Prince of Persia is a very old game, and people have been asking for this series to like be remade or remastered or brought back from the dead, and sadly they haven't. This is this is the first like Prince of Persia game in shit since the 360 days. Uh, let me take a look. Famous SB Alliance, you will do what I say, you will bring me what I want, and if you fail me, you will burn. Didn't he say you will both of you burn? That's a pretty good line. Reasons why I uh, don't um, get excited for video games when I just see a trailer. GG's, GG's. Samus Returns made it Area 3, but less painful there. Yeah. Okay, so that is the save station. That's not bad. Does this have a life system, Desco? Because that's the only thing that I can say that might make this game kind of boring. If you have unlimited lives, then you can just keep on going until you beat the game, right? Granted, I guess the Mummy D Mastered also had a little bit <sighs> They're never gonna add that mod to consoles, and to be honest, they should have. Usually just call that area the Gamma Nest area. Too long to read that area sucks. Uh, apparently, <laughs> is it as bad as the clock tower area from the Master Glow? That's the real question. Where you have the most finicky platforming sections of all time, with a bunch of spikes that take off a lot of damage. The only thing that could have made that area better is if those spikes were insta kills. That that would have made my day. So. That's probably the hardest section in the D Master if I think about it. The clock tower platforming section was kind of BS. It's not really janky as much as super easy to get lost in. Oh, okay. I was talking about a different one, but yeah. Well, no. Whatever mod you would want in SB, they should add it to consoles. It's just as Steel will never do that because they don't want people to play uh, an alternate version of Security Breach that isn't their own, right? The only game I know that you can like mod, and that's only because they had to add like a, a shot for it, was what Skyrim? Like mod on consoles. And even then, I think you need to have an account in, like, the Bethesda Creation Club or whatever. 
You motherfucker. That's actually pretty smart. I don't know if we could do that. Also, yeah, didn't this game come out in October? I feel very bad for taking this long to play it. I actually don't know when this game came out in. Maybe I'll drink this potion. Let's block out my attacks! Oh, that was sick! I like slid under him and we kept on attacking. Last month? Okay, thank you, thank you. That's not a good secret. Too bad we can't land like, up there. Is it supposed to be like... Oh! Ow! Oh, okay, maybe that's not how you do it. So what's that noise? Oh. That doesn't look good. Combos are really cool. Granted, I feel like I'm just mashing square, but I do like like avoiding hit, like attacking from above, sliding underneath. Like I do like the fighting mechanics of this game. I just don't know how it's gonna fare with an idiot that's not good with Metroidvania type of uh, game. Why are people complaining about the Silent Hill remake? It's because it's being made by a team that people say haven't been making any good games. And the trailers don't really leave a lot to be excited for. Well, like, Silent Hill is more about the story than about the gameplay. And the last trailer was just nothing but showing off uh, the combat of the game, which Silent Hill is not really known for. If if Silent Hill is known for anything about the combat, it's it's known for the combat being shit. It's not supposed to be like a Resnio or a, a Fortnite like over the shoulder game where you're like kicking ass with everything you're shooting. But that's why people are worried. People are worried they're just gonna make another action game, though. rightfully so. Well, that was Konami's fault though. What was Konami's fault? Why? Why? Granted, I do feel like a Konami defender, but like, wh why does everyone always blame Konami, by the way? Now it's not Konami making the game, it's blue it's the uh, blooper team, right? This is how you play this game on easy, man. They didn't want to do the second trailer, it wasn't their choice. And you know what I say to that? At that point, I still don't blame Konami, I blame the fans. And this is coming from someone that's been streaming for the past couple of months, where I get a couple of fans, I know which specific ones too, that are like, Where's Sun Hill 2 news? Where's Sun Hill 2 trailers? Bro, when are they gonna talk about Sun Hill 2? And I'm just like, bro, just let them be, because if they show anything right now, it's gonna be shit trash, it's gonna be hot trash. But too many people were complaining about Town Hill 2 now, so they're like, well, we gotta show them something. So. so I still don't blame Konami, I blame the fan base for just not waiting. Okay, I wanna kill this fucking thing. They should have gave us a pinky promise? I mean, is an announcement enough? Isn't the Silent Hill 2 remake announcement enough of a pinky promise? Like, why do we need to see more? Especially when they're, like, not close to being done.
granted, I'm not excited at all for the Son 2 remake, and I think it's gonna be bad, but... I can't really blame, uh, the company for giving us a trailer when fans just keep on asking the company where's the trailer, right? It sounds kind of hypocritical at that point. Yo, Konami, where's the Silent Hill 2 trailer? Here it is. Yo, Konami, why does this Silent Hill 2 trailer look like ass? Because you asked us to get, show you something. Yeah, but like, show us something like, more like, completely done, and then tell us the release dates tomorrow. Please, Konami. Also, you're still shit, and we're gonna make fun of you no matter what you do. I know video games fan base has something to complain about. Always, always. Always. Which is why I don't really like talking about that, because I don't want to feed into that conversation. But obviously, I'm going to talk about whatever you guys want to talk about, and just give you my own opinion of, uh, of uh, dumb shit, right? At the end of the day, you don't have to agree with my opinion, I'm just giving you what I feel is uh, happening. And yeah, for the past couple of months, we've been... Every time, like, PlayStation had a direct or something was being shown off video game-wise, People would be like, yo, where's the Silent Hill trailer, so... People can't get mad when they show us a Silent Hill trailer that's trash, when people have been complaining about not getting any Silent Hill news or trailers, so... Uh, yeah, at the end of the day, you can blame Konami, but I'll blame the fan base instead. That's like if Metal Gear Solid fans are like, yo, where's Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta trailer? And then they show us a trailer and it's Snake just eating a frog and that's it. And it's like, yo, we, we wanted to see combat. We wanted to see cutscenes. Where's, like, the boss? Where, where's all these characters? Like, can't you just give them time to work on it? Why, why does this have to be, like, done right here, right now? The only people I can say, like, okay, you have a right to complain and I'm with you. I, I'm not even, like, tired of you guys saying this because you're in the right. And funny enough, we're kind of playing a game that has it in the title. Is uh, fans uh, asking about Metroid Prime 4. It's like, they announced that shit like what, five, six years ago at this point? So yeah, like if, if you've been waiting for a game like for six years, you have a right to complain. I've been waiting for a game for like, for one, maybe two years? Nah, I don't know about that. Shit, look at Resident Evil 2 Remake. They had an announcement, said nothing for two years, and then at E3 they showed off the Resident Evil 2 trailer. And it was probably one of the greatest reveals of all time. Well, that's because fans waited and Capcom delivered. Although, trust, there were also fans that were like, Yo, where's, where's the Resident Evil 2 trailer, Capcom? You suck. You're Crapcom. Also, I love how we're just talking about video games now. It's not even about, like, beating this game or even understanding the story. Because to be honest, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I want to say the point of Metroidvania is the gameplay and not really the story. But hey, if you got a good story in your Metroidvania, let's go. Nice. I'm sure that game is in the right hands. Yeah, I'm sure they, they'll they happen again for Metal Gear. Prince of Persia is basically a decent platform. It is. But I will admit, the only Prince of Persia game I played and finished was uh, Sands of Time, which... I, I hope we get an announcement for that game soon, because yeah, that's also another game that got announced like two years ago. And it was getting a remake, and there hasn't been any word since, so... But hey, you don't hear me saying like, Where's Prince of Persia Sands of Time remake remastered, Ubisoft? You're the worst company of all time. No, I'm just like, I'll play another game, and I hope that game comes out soon. And if it doesn't, oh shit. Ubisoft sucks. Oh, that's cool. You can, like, go back to the same wall to get a double jump. Ooh, interesting. That's cool. Fans have no sense of patience, but to be fair, Clementine, more often than not, fans are young, and they... They, they want the game right away. I can't get mad at that. Hell, it would be hypocritical of me to say anything mean about that, because I remember when I was a kid, I'm like, Oh my gosh, I just finished Jack 2, I can't wait for Jack 3 to come out. And then trailers would come out for Jack 3, I'm like, Oh my gosh, I can't wait for Jack 3, let's go, let's go. I want it right now, I want it right now, why do I gotta wait months for Jack 3? 
and then I get Jack three and play, and I'm like, uh, maybe I should have not said anything. It's kind of trash. Either way, like I, I, I've been there, so I'm not gonna make fun of people for that. But I, I might turn and I might like be, hmm, if they're like 30 plus years old and they're like, yo, where's my game that I've been waiting for like a week or for like a week since the announcement for it? Like, bro, come there. And there's one game I hope to see you play. One of them is Mullet Mad Jack. Mullet Mad Jack. Let me screenshot that so I can uh, hopefully get it one day. Being a Falcon Falcom fan in uh, English-speaking territory can be rough too. Oh, why? Because people will think you're thinking about Captain Falcon uh, Metroid. Uh, Metroid. <laughs> F Zero. Uh oh. Fake F Zero fan. Fake F Zero fan. Oh yeah, Clementine, all I gotta say is, um, if you don't like games like Resident Evil 4 Remake, you're probably not gonna, or even Resident Evil 2 Remake, you're most likely not gonna enjoy Silent Hill 2 Remake, because that's what it's gonna try to play like. Now the story, I can't say anything about it, because one, I don't want to spoil anything, and two, it might make a lot of changes to the story, which, the story changes are the things that are gonna get people mad more than... James being able to like destroy all the bobblehead nurses with like a shotgun. Anyway, the same. Well, I was gonna say the same thing could happen to Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta, but I I I don't want to say thankfully. I was gonna say sadly, but I actually don't know. But thankfully, Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta, the remake, is going to be more uh, of a just, hey, let's make the graphics better and call it a day, than Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 2 is changing things, which that's, that's going to piss some people off. But then again, I don't know. Like, I, I'm not a big, like, Silent Hill or Metal Gear fan, so I need a Metal Gear fan to tell me, hey, are you happy that all they're doing is just making the graphics look pretty and calling it a day with Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta? Or would you rather they rewrite the story to make it fit a bit more with the canon of the later games in the series i.e metal mgs4 5 revengeance and yeah i guess that's it but you see i don't know i don't know konami's making two remakes and i feel like both fan bases are pissed off regardless what they do hold triangle to aim with the chakra and to then release the shooter oh, okay. Yeah, and that's a sad thing, Clementine. As someone that has been playing video games since he was a kid, it's really sad that most of the games we've been playing for the past couple years have just been remakes of games I grew up with. Heck, look at next month. Do you know what are the two biggest games I'm excited for? Star Wars Battlefront Collection, a game I played on the PS2 as a kid, and Alone in the Dark Remake. A remake of an old game, but at least that game I never played, so that's going to be a new experience for me. But they're both technically remakes remasters they're not new games it's kind of sad oh so desco when you said i am do you mean like well you're an you're an mgs fan right so like are, are like are you happy they're just making it look pretty and that's it or would you rather they make changes to the game yeah too many remakes Welcome to the next episode of Sad Town, where we talk about the saddest things for upcoming games or remakes. Aww. I mean, well, we can always stop talking about it if we want, if you want to. I'm just giving you my opinion as to like what I see in video games nowadays. 
say, I'm not ever saying it's uh, the right opinion, it's just what I see. It's kind of hard for me to enjoy a remake of a game I enjoyed. It's, it's gotta be like the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. In fact, look, what's the biggest game that's coming out this month? It's Final Fantasy VII Remake, so... I don't know. When you make a new game, it's gonna be harder for people to want to buy, because they don't know if it's gonna be good or not, right? You, re you remake an old game that sold well, people are gonna get it regardless if it's good or not, because of the brand. Heck, I just... the most recent game I bought last week, or... yeah, th this week, was Tomb Raider Remake Remastered, so... Although I never played those games when I was a kid, so that is a new game to me, right? Regardless of if it's a remake or not. Ow. Also worth noting that MGS Triangle seems to have more direct involvement from Konami than Sun Hill 2, for better or for worse? Right, it, it depends, right? Well, if, if we look at column A and column B, column A, Silent Hill 2 Remake, not much involvement from Konami. They're letting Blooper Team do whatever they want, and a lot of people are worried. MGS game made by more involvement from Konami. They're keeping the audio files the same. And the story the same. So all they're really changing is maybe making the gameplay a bit more modern, and making the graphics better. Which, to me, Sounds like a boring ass remake, but that's probably more faithful to the original game and would make more OG fans happy, right? Right? Or am I wrong about this? Is there any information about Silent Hill F? Sadly, not yet, and that's the game I'm actually excited for the most, because it's going to be a new game. I mean, it's basically the Tomb Raider remake, right? Like, Tomb Raider remake keeps everything one-to-one, -one. they just updated the graphics and called it a day, which nothing wrong with that. Obviously there's a bit more to that since you can like save whenever you want to, but like essentially it's the same game from back in the day ported onto new consoles. Although I'm not expecting them to keep that fixed camera angles. Yeah, I don't think either. If, if anything they might have it where like maybe there's a button to uh, switch to the camera angles or fix camera angles, but I wouldn't be surprised if they just kept the camera and go kind of like MGS5 over the shoulder and shit. But that's why I guess it's more exciting to see news about MGS Triangle over uh, Sun Hill Remake, because as soon as they announced it, I'm like, okay, they're just going to make it like RE2 Remake and call it a day. And hey, look at that. RE2 Remake call it a day. Ooh, okay, buddy. He has some cool moves. Do you know? Do you know which? Do you know which remake? I want to say all of us are probably gonna get. I don't know about Clementine, but I know overall, then Desco is definitely gonna get this game. Maybe not day one, but you're gonna wait for a sale. But do you know which game we're all gonna get this game uh, this year? That I don't think anyone's gonna say no. I'm not, even though I already own it. Sonic Generation slash Shadow. And what is that? That's just a remake of Sonic Generations with a couple extra levels here and there. So. I don't know. It, can can anyone name me a, a new game that people are excited for? Because it's getting kind of sad, not gonna lie. And, I, and like, you hit me? Hey, bro, I'm gonna get that too. I'm gonna get that too. But the fact that we're buying a game that came out like back in 2010 is sad. It's sad. They could have given us a Sonic Generations 2 with new levels, but they're like, nah, just, just remake, just, just port the old game, clean it a little bit, add Shadow, call it a day. $100. <laughs> Bullshit! No! Desco, that's unfair! He smacked me into the, the, the thingy! That was a wombo! I get hit into the axe and I die? That's some bullshit. I am not happy of that. I am not a fan. <laughs> oh, well. get good, right? And like I said, over oh nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna buy that game too. But like you said, it's kind of sad that we're just excited for remakes nowadays. We're we're not getting anything new. I don't trust the Sonic games will be good these days. I, and that's why I said I don't know. I, that's why I didn't bring you Clementine because I knew you weren't gonna get it or didn't know much about it. Um, wait till we 
played or until other people played, and you'll see it's actually a fun game. It's 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 a Sonic game where you can turn your brain off and have a lot of fun. Although you can say that to a lot of Sonic games. Shit. What are the other Sega games I'm excited for? Jet Set Radio, Crazy Taxi, Virtual Fighter. Granted, I hope they're new games and not remakes, but if they are, shit. Other games that are remakes that I grew up with that I'm excited for. It's kind of sad. Hell, the only... The, the next Capcom game that I'm excited for is another remake as well, which is Resident Evil 5 Remake, so... Heck, another remake we're gonna play this uh, year is gonna be Until Dawn Remake, so... I don't know. It's almost as if new games are not viable. I don't know, what would you guys rather play? Sonic Generations with Shadow or First Spoken? And I guess that's the reason why we don't get new video games anymore. Bruh. I gotta get better. Also, if, there, if any future people are watching this, I uh, hope you have a great time, but let this stream not be a representation of this game at this point in time. I, I think at this point we're playing this game in the background or we're talking about anything, which I don't know. Mm. I guess there's a reason why they don't give you a block button, because it'd be too easy. I have faith with Naughty Dog because they're making a new IP game. I'm a excited that they're making a new IP, but I won't, uh, I won't have faith until I see gameplay of it. But yeah, I am glad that Naughty Dog's doing something different now. There's gotta be a way to destroy that shield guy without getting hit that much. Vision memorized? Oh, is that too quickly? Like, wait, wait. Can I remove that? I'll delete memory. There you go. Oh, oh, what's the clip? Oh, the wombo combo. One thing I would do, uh, oh crap, maybe I should kill this guy. I mean, they're gonna make it, it's just, that's not the game they're making right now. They need to make a, a game that makes money. See, that kick into the air combo is pretty cool. It's just kind of tough to get it. Nice. Either way, if the shadow levels are bad, there's still the Sonic gameplay. I see it as an absolute win. You're not wrong. <gasps> How did you hit me? That was the greatest accuracy of all time. One thing I would do, uh, like to do for a game is have unique mixes of machines that were mixed before and see how crazy we get. What the fun aspect would be? Right, that, that's another thing. Imagine like the Sonic levels somehow play worse than the original game. Like we, we, we heard people wanted classic Sonic to control like Mania. So we made classic Sonic control like forces. I better knock on wood right fucking now because if they make classic me if they make classic Sonic control like forces, I'm getting a refund. Oh god, why did I conjure that into existence? That's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. They're like shit. It, it would be easier if we like just take the code from forces and call it a day. Heck, a lot of people are saying um the the shadow levels were starting to look like forces levels. Uh oh. Oh god. Unsubscribe and dislike the video right now. To be fair, you didn't play very well to begin with. 
You're not wrong, but he played a shit ton better than uh, Corses the Sonic, and that's uh, that's my worry. I think, funny enough, uh, uh, the 3DS version of Classic Sonic controlled better than the console version of Classic Sonic. Although, I don't know why they gave Classic Sonic the homing attack in the 3DS version of that game. That's okay. They look more- oh yeah, yeah, they look more like cyberspace levels, which, to me, are like forces levels, so... It still works. Am I just supposed to block it? You can unlock it in the console versions too? The homing attack for Classic Sonic? I don't know about that. Man, the, the cage, it looks like it takes place on a cardboard stage set, and I like that. Is that the next Bendy game? Okay, so parry to open them up and then. It's not progression like on a 3S. <laughs> Basically, the true sequel to Bendy One. I still gotta play those games. It's just uh, they cost too much. I did see your post by the time when you said it went on sale, but that was only the sequel, so I'm kind of waiting for the original one to go on sale. I don't know, I, I kind of don't like spending money on $40 games where I'm just going to play once and then never again. games we were excited for this year. The only new game I can think of that I'm excited for isn't even coming out until like next year, which is Monster Hunter. And that depends if you consider that new or not. My bad. Nice. That's how you defeat them, that's cool. So you parry to start the combo and then you uh, keep on going. Bendy one and Bendy the cage, and then we're getting the game. Oh yes. And I'm still here waiting for Crow Country to actually come out. Ah, I'm. I can't wait to see how they make it, but yeah, I, I guess I don't really get excited for movies that much anymore. Like, I'll watch the FNAF 2 film and the Sonic 3 film, but other than that, like, there's nothing I really want to watch or care about. I'm sure we'll see Crow Country again, I hope so, because I had a lot of fun with that game. There's technically two routes I haven't gone. I haven't gone through this route, but there's also a... I guess I haven't gone through here either. 
What brings you here, traveler? My allies and I are in pursuit of a, a traitor. And you and the others are trapped here too. Longquaf have seen its share of travelers. Many are lost within the web of time. Beware, warrior. Death and misery roam the citadel. I seen my share of death. I was expecting bending the cage to be top down like Crow Country or just fix camera. And the most determined warriors must be prepared. Take this. Its unique properties will aid you. Just know that each one is precious. It can only be charged at a whack whack. I'll make good use of this. Well, that's cool. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so this is the merchant, and uh, I got 900 crystals. Slightly reducing coming poison effect damage. Shit. Old currency? Why would we want... Maybe there's someone that only accepts old currency or something. Oh, another amulet holder? That's pretty good. Both of these are amazing. Uh oh. It's a Metroidvania with shop mechanics? What? Well, my dumbass wants to carry more amulets, but I think the better thing would be to get more healing potions. But if we keep on rehealing the tree, then this doesn't really matter. Mm. Now let's go. I think we can buy all of them. Oh, can we equip one right now? That'd be sick. Shit. Nice. I mean, devs confirmed there would be blocking, hopefully good blocking. I gotta check out Benny the Cage. A second save? Nice. I wonder if uh, you can teleport from tree to tree. Is there a teleport feature in this game, Desko, or is it really just, oh no, you gotta walk all the way back to, uh, back to the tree? Oh, that's where I died. That's cool. Shit. Ah, fuck me up. Yeah, hopefully good blocking overall. Heck, we just played a pretty cool game that has some interesting blocking mechanics. I mean, bending the Dark Revival combat is alright for me, to be honest. How is the combat? Because when I look at the Benny games, it just looks like you have a wrench and you're just smacking an enemy until they die. Is, is that really it, or is there more to that? Can you block? Can you counter? Can you parry? Are the combos? Am I asking too many questions that are, aren't relevant to Benny? So there's there's a, there's a weapon we probably can lock to break that. That as well. Right. Uh -oh. Right. Uh -oh.
Ow. I, 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 how was I supposed to know that shit was down there? That's some bullshit. Okay, so I'm fine. Within the realm of broken memories. Creepy. Oh shit, it's one of those. That was cool, I like that, I like that. See, that's the platforming I like. The ones where if you don't do it the first time, the first time you're there, you're just dead. Hey, no problem at all, Desco, right? If anything, oh, you have an even better night. And hey, thank you very much for stopping by, right? Have an amazing rest of your weekend. And until next time, remember that we are destruction. <gasps> the second one have better combat. Well, the first one sucks because the main character is slow in general. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. Slow characters make in combat terrible. Alright, let's, let's continue. We've only been playing this for an hour and a half. It should only take us three more hours to beat this. The thing is, I feel like I'm going too far. Wait, we can't go back the way we came in? Bruh. I guess if you didn't check everything before you get to Kyrokunian Forest, you're just kind of screwed that way. Oh, that's cool. Three people! that gives me the dodge. Up plus R2. I wanna do the dodge attack. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit, that was cool. Although apparently we both kill each other at the same time. Cider yes, see if these is gonna be amazing just cause uh, that means you won't have to get skull and bones. Isn't it, if anything, that's another fail for Ubisoft, which is kind of funny because we're playing a Ubisoft right now, because they they should have released Skull, uh, what was it? Skull and Bones a long time ago. But it, it took them until this year to release it, and the better version is going to come out in less than a month after it came out, so. Yeah, see if this is going to be crazy. That was cool. Nice. I forgot the other three Xbox only games are coming to PlayStation. I believe it's uh, Skull and Bones. Uh, Grounded, the game where you're playing as, like, little people that are trying to survive against, like, giant bugs. Um, Hi-Fi Rush, the game that I'm excited for. It's, a uh, it's a game that kind of plays like Devil May Cry, but it's more about rhythm and music. So that's gonna be interesting. And I actually can't remember the other one that's coming out. Oh, I guess uh, Skull and Bones, right? And those are the first four games that are coming out to, uh... Not just PlayStation, but other consoles like Nintendo Switch.
Oh, I can put another one. Oh, I can pick. Okay, now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. I can pick either this one or this one for my level one. Let's go. What's this one? Ah, I'll stick with this one. Maybe a uh, later or after this, right? Last thing I want to do is when I'm playing this is just watch a seven-minute video. Heard of Epic Mickey because they're making it for the next Slash and, and Nintendo Switch consoles? Yeah, actually, I remember when Epic Mickey first came out on uh, the Wii. I played a bit of it, and I enjoyed it, but I was never able to uh, finish it, so... It's gonna be nice that it's coming out on PlayStation and other consoles, because I'll be able to finish it, so... That's actually pretty cool. This are you, huh? I hope the sales are really good enough for it. The Bendy or the Epic Mickey? Uh, overall game, sorry. If I was going to assume anything, it's going to make more money than the Wii version. Not because the Wii's bad or anything, just because now it's going to be on more platforms than the Wii, right? So it should actually make more money than um, when it first originally came out. There's a hole there. How do I get it? Which means Epic Mickey 2 Remake, probably? Uh, hopefully not. I don't know. I was seeing a lot of people saying that it's not a good game, but... But then again, everyone has an opinion, right? So, if it is a good game, then maybe they will remake the second game. But to me, I've only heard good things about the first game, so... I think it can work. I mean, anything can work. It just matters if people are gonna buy enough for get to matter if it works or not right if someone remakes like FNAF 1 and no one buys it then it was a waste of time and money but if you remake a game and a lot of people buy it then everyone's gonna enjoy it right Let's go how you cut the grass. See, there's two ways to go. Do we know when Epic Mickey's uh, remake is coming out or no? Gems going to walls. Okay, well that's good. 
I mean, I, it doesn't matter when it comes out. If it comes earlier, then that's good. But I, I hope it's not in March, just because that's when I'm getting Battlefront, right? So. So I could actually see myself playing this game enough to finish it, it's just, uh, I don't think I'm gonna get it until it goes on sale. Uh oh. It's one of those. Oh, like we're gonna get a release date for that game in March, hopefully. If anything, I'm surprised that game's even uh, coming out on other platforms other than the Wii. No, you can't go back the way you came in. That's really that really sucks. But I want to say that's only for the demo, just to keep you moving to uh, the end of the demo. A pie, Jahander, resides for eternity. With the body of a lion, the face of a human, and the tail of a scorpion, Jahander has always devoured men. Those who ventured in the High Carian forest and crossed his path would disappear forever. To satisfy his appetite, Jahander once walked through the gates of the Citadel, spreading terror for three days. Five hundred warriors were tasked to confront him. None survived. Darius was still a young king, armed with the royal sword that Kaheva we'll go with that. had forged for him. He set out to challenge Jahander. A hundred times he managed to avoid his poisonous his poison stingers. A hundred times he countered his charges. Darius ca called on uh, a task, the sacred fire. Jahander had never encountered such resistance from an from a mortal. He was defeated. Darius spared his life, but locked him up in the upper citadel. Well, I guess we're gonna have to kill that now. Thus began the legend of Darius, king of kings, whose wisdom and courage would make per Persia shine throughout the known world. Alright, same here, but uh, I never got to finish uh, Epic Mickey, so I'm glad I'll be able to actually uh, play it. Hey, it's open. I feel like we gotta fight a boss. Like, all I can say is, if you don't like games that don't have like the best graphics, I can understand that, but I, I think if you've seen me on this channel, you'll know that I don't care about graphics. I just care if the game's good. But yeah, I also will say, like, you shouldn't spend a lot of money on a game. Hey, that's bullshit! Well, I should have fought it! No! You, I should have fought it! That's the end of the demo. Sad face. Thanks for playing the demo. It was just a glimpse of the epic adventure that awaits you. Will you rescue Prince Gassan and solve the mystery of Mount Quaff? Quaff. Standard edition explorer, curse Mount Quaff, and so save the crown. Master time powers and face mythological beasts. Express your own play style and restore the world's uh, the world's balance. Deluxe edition. Uh, same shit, but uh, you get a. a a bird amulet to reveal hidden treasures? That's uh, pretty best. And of the demo already? Yeah, but to be fair, we did play this demo for an hour and 46 minutes. Granted, someone could say I was talking about random shit for like 46 minutes, but uh, shut up.
And Desco didn't even see me beat the game on Hero, or at least the demo, which uh, I can see I would be tough, but not um, not enough for to make me to go. Okay, we gotta go down. It's actually pretty sick. You can play the whole entire game in Persian. Hey, Vengeance, how you doing? Let's play this again, and let me just go through the areas that I wasn't able to go before. Maybe hear a bit of the English dialogue, and uh, yeah, maybe we'll call it a, a day there. The old citadel. Anahita took Prince Hassan beyond these gates. I got Gassan right, and I think I said Anahita or something. I can't fathom why Anahita would do such a thing. <laughs> Which clip? <laughs> Which one? He had a couple of amazing uh, clips today. So Which, remember, any one of you, you know is more than welcome to make any clips make um, uh, for the streams if you want to. It's just, I think you guys would rather just watch. But trust, those clips are funny, and they make other people laugh when they watch them, right? So. And if someone's like, how do I make a clip? You just press on the scissors button when you see something funny. Comboed, right? Yeah, that was some BS. I get smacked into the, like... The trap that killed me and i didn't even go back there again so i'm gonna have to go back there again this time it doesn't make sense she's always been loyal she wants to seize power for herself oh, what do you even mean i had a feeling he ha would have a voice like that the simorg may have disappeared but the mighty god used to live on mount calf and perhaps still does mount calf i've been calling it mount quave mount Kuf. <laughs> Mankoff, all right. It has always been the Samorg who appoints future kings and queens. But I just have a few more quests until the Krang back playing. Saying, well, I haven't played Fortnite at all today, and I don't think I'll have enough time to play it. So, we're most likely gonna just play Fortnite all day tomorrow, right? Hmm. Anahita probably wishes to receive the Simorg's blessing. But why kidnap Prince Hassan? She needs him. The gates to the Simorg temple only open for members of the royal family. She has lost her mind. She will never get the Simorg's blessing like that. We can't be certain. After all, the Simorg may be weakened. One thing's for sure. Prince Hassan is in danger. She will kill him once she has no need for him. Immortals, follow me. Let's help Ardashir and find Prince Hassan. <laughs> Wait for me here. Don't worry. I won't be long. Ten hours later. Well, yeah, uh, make sure you get that crane backlink since uh, that event's going to be over in like three days. been here before no but i've read about it this place was once the site of king darius's palace. two days to get it is effing nuts not gonna lie it's only nuts if you haven't done any any of the quests up to this point like if you just log in right now and you're like oh my gosh i gotta do like six weeks of quests or six phases technically to get krang and that's a lot then yeah you're not wrong but i don't know um if you play that game, you've most likely been doing the quests along the week, so today you should only have to do five quests and then you have it. And even then, they gave us these quests on the weekend when the kids that play Fortnite should be able to get the quest done, so I don't know. If, if people really want that Krang back bling, they'll go for it. Otherwise, they can't really complain for it. Religion, medicine, astrology, geometry, algebra. All knowledge was gathered here, accessible to all. Did they screw up on this guy's artwork? Or am I dumb? Like, the picture has his, like, has this, like, metal part right here. But if you look at him in-game, he has the metal part right here. So did they actually mess up on the artwork in this game? I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking too much. The cuff was home to a great citadel of wisdom. The pride of all Persia. Maybe they flipped it by accident. And? What happened? 
No one survived to tell the tale. I never finished those kind of quests because Prince I play other games. There's nothing wrong with that, Clementine. At the end of the day, it's just a back playing that not many people are going to care about after tomorrow, so. Artwork mistake detected! Detected! AI artwork used! <laughs> Who knows what might await us? Who knows what might... Yeah, we probably come back here with like a bomb or something. But hey, now that we know how to play the game, we can probably play this uh, demo faster and better. Well, the only thing I want to do different is to go to areas I wasn't able to before. What is this sorcery? I'm a warrior, not a seer. Frozen as it falls. As if time had stopped. Here, not everything is what it seems. Let's be cautious. I'm good. Kais and Layla are by my side. Kais and Layla? Your swords? Yes. They have never betrayed me. <laughs> laughing at me? You better not call your shield and staff a, we uh, a weapon name or something. You better not give your weapons a name or I'm gonna make fun of you. Is that how the force works? It's actually crazy I'm gonna be playing a Star Wars game next time. I'm like, you know, there's there's nothing Star Wars can do to make me go back to that series ever again. And then they remake the games that I grew up with and I'm like, well shit. Stay sharp. Princess Anne can't be far now. Something is not right here. We must proceed with caution. Sure, Mad Elias. You can scurry from shadow to shadow like frightened vermin. I'm serious, Orod. There's a strange presence here. I can feel it too. And there's only one way to find out. Ha 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 ha! Let's go then! Can you only get battle stories by leveling up? Yes. People say that the Force Awakens in its sequel suck. I mean, maybe. But everyone likes different movies, so if they don't like those, then I guess it sucks for them. If they like them, then I guess it's amazing Barbara, for them. I've only seen The Force Awakens, 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 and I thought it was okay when it came out. And I never watched any other Star Wars movies after that, so I don't know. I Long think you can dead, do it, Vengeance. Judging by the rot. How is that possible? They left not long before us. Oh, 38? Okay, that's good. We I just hope these people here. don't turn into bad guys over the uh, Stay on your guard. course of the game. We will find the Prince and Anahita. We go east. We don't go anywhere. You'll only slow me down. You're on your own. Meany. Right, although, just don't get too excited for something that might not happen, right? I would love uh, old, old, old uh, young Kratos, but um, I'm also not going to get mad at Epic Games if they don't bring him to the game. Ooh, nice hit. Oh, nice hit, nice hit. So yeah, I actually really like the combo system of this game. It makes it feel like a fighting game to me. So, a fighting game Metroidvania is really interesting to me. It's just... 
So I kind of wish this game was a bit cheaper. Take care, vengeance. And I hope you have a good one, alright? Maybe you need a specific attack to get through that. I also got 48 races in the speedrun in Rocket Racing. Yo, let's go Vengeance. Um, <laughs> if anyone, I know no one cares, but uh, I already got all 200 last night. It was actually a lot of fun. If anything, there was a couple of maps there that I was not expecting. Like, there's a map that's, that you have to race upside down and that blew my mind yesterday. I was like, what? What? But yeah, if you want to call me sweaty because I already got the 200 laps done, then you're not wrong because I said I was going to get it done, so we got it done. And if anything, I'll probably play some Fortnite later on Twitch, but the red's not bad, but the purple, the last one you get, is really good. But obviously, I'm not going to tell anyone play 200 laps just to unlock a purple uh, color. But um, well, yeah. Purple is really good and it's actually what I'm probably going to use uh, for a while. It is pretty fun though, I think so. Uh, the biggest problem I, I hear people had with rocket racing is they hated that people kept on bumping into them. So it's cool that this mode you actually can't bump into anyone, right? You will see other real people, but they're just racing alongside you, they're not racing against you. Yeah, if no one knows, um, anytime I want to, like, save a video for YouTube, we'll stream on YouTube like this game right now, right? I want to save this, uh, stream for future reference, I guess we'll call it. But if we're just grinding out stuff, then that's when I usually just chill on Twitch. Obviously, I would rather play with, with my whole entire community on YouTube, but it's, it's like, what, it's 1025 for me, so we're just gonna chill, uh, if you if you can understand that. I tried it only once. If anything, Clementine, we just gotta like team up for Fortnite so we can like, I guess, play those uh, game modes together. Because playing those game modes uh, alone can be very boring. Yes. Uh, if you want to know how I got to the levels that I did uh, Avengers, I just played Rocket Racing. But obviously not just played. Look at the quest that you gotta do for Rocket Racing and you're going to get a lot of XP. Like, I, I don't know, I, it's going to be very dumb if I say this, but I'm going to say it either way. It almost feels like I'm Sonic when I'm playing this game. Like how fast you can go, attack, do these dodges, like, it actually is really cool. It's just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for a sale for this game, and then I'll get it. But I really do like the gameplay of this game. Forget about me leaving. I'm gonna just stay uh, and play speed right, uh, speed uh, run. Hey, no problem at all. Like I say, do whatever you guys want to do. All right. If you want to know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish uh, playing this one more time, and then I'm gonna take a break and most likely play some port on uh, Twitch. All right. 
Oh, you can just shoot them once and they're dead? Bruh. Those guys were like kicking my ass before. Yeah, I feel alone in Fortnite playing by myself, but I'm always okay with that. Wait, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, you should be able, you should play games that you have fun alone. But remember, you can join us anytime we're live or uh, on Fortnite, all right? Which is obviously since uh, you live on the other side of the world. By the time I'm going to bed, you're waking up, right? Like, for me, it's like 10.27 at night. And for you, I think it's literally like the morning, yeah? Or the afternoon. One or the other. Mm. WTF the Society decal for? Uh, the Society decal is for the Battle Pass car. Pretty good decal. Is it just the bottom? Oh, you mean what it what it does to change the car? Yeah, it, it basically just adds the orange like the orange trim to the side of the vehicle. That, that's all I noticed with that. And it makes your car black, which you can do that with uh, without that decal. Right? Like, if, if no one knew that that was a decal, the orange part of the car, then people would be like, yo, it's just... It's just a team on the car. Go on, try it. Hey, I might as well. Use memory shards to capture an image of the environment, which will automatically be saved on the map. Okay, that's cool. Thank you, miss. I don't know your name. What did it mean we can take pictures of stuff we can come back for later? I can grab it right now. Or just saying like that's that's what you can use that for. Probably the second one. Well yeah, I don't really use the society decal on my car cars yet. Yeah, it looks kinda plain. You see that's a good combo using the Got disc, uh, discus to hit the shield opponents from the back to be able to turn them. That's good. That's good. Are we getting better? Is this, is this what you call getting good at a video game? What is this feeling? I like feel like a badass for the things I can do. If anything, Clementine, have you uh, finished or did you get bored of uh, the Choo Choo Charles train game? 
I was gonna get it, but, like, I don't know. I, like, it, that's another game that's, like, it's cheap, but I don't think it's worth that price. I, I think it should be a bit cheaper. I got pretty close to your scores when I checked the season. Oh, the seasonal, uh, uh, the seasonal rankings? Yo, see, go, go, go in, uh, go and try and defeat them, alright? It's only gonna make me wanna make sure I can stay on top. The scoreboard! Uh-oh, 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 I'm, I'm dead. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I, I also would rather play a game that I enjoy over a game that's just gonna... Can't you just do that as well? Yeah, that way you don't close the... Okay. Secrets! Yeah, what's preventing me from just doing this? I mean, it's kind of hard to get that top one. Oh, so you're almost finished it? Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, that's what you use the arrows for, to take to take out those in the long Is that short of scoring? Ooh. And, sc well, I haven't played scoring, but that's still one of the games that I've wanted to play just because of the looks of it, but... Yeah, like, scoring, that's one of those games you wait for a sale just because you only play it once and that's it, right? Oh, did you actually beat my score? Yo, GG's. I'm gonna have to retake my, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna have to retake my, uh, position in the leaderboard. Uh oh, uh -oh. Oh, they're making a multiplayer game? Treasure! Ponce? Ponce? Deluxe Editions Immortal Skin? Oh, that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Yeah, that's some shit. They actually give you the skin of the Deluxe Edition and the demo, so you can be like, Hey, doesn't your character look badass? Wouldn't you want to use the skin in the main game? It's only going to cost you a little extra money, right? You had 33 uh, 0.33.517 milliseconds, and you got 32, 0.32564 milliseconds. Bruh! You know how hard it's going to be to defeat that score? GG's, though. GG's. Uh, I'm gonna say, even though I played it all last night, I did try my best for those speedruns, so... If you actually defeat me on a speedrun, be proud, alright? Because I actually tried. So, you're better than I am. I rate you. So I guess you come back here or something. Oh, you can change kind of like the look of the area with the left, right analog stuff? GG's, GG's, alright?
This is where I died, wasn't it? Call the elevator up here if it's down there. Yeah, there's a location where I died, so let's see if we can actually like pass this trap. Yeah, uh, Vengeance, this was the place where I got the Wombo Comlet, and when I died, I didn't come back here again because I'm like, that was bullshit. Let's see if we can, uh, not die this time. Uh oh, where does this take us? Ah, oh, nice. Did you enjoy the Troy Become Human? I heard it probably has one of the best stories that that studio made. Oh my god. I guess, uh, like Sonic says, you're too slow. Nice. I have a feeling these guys got inspired by a little bit of uh, Devil May Cry when they made this game. Nothing wrong with that. So moving forward, there's a slide, but pressing it once is the back. And... Can I do this? No. Got a new trail? Let's go. We can't see shit from the photos though? Uh, which photos? Oh, uh, you can't- you don't know which color it is from the photos? Yeah. You're gonna have to go in, uh, in your locker and see what it is. Well, let me know which colors you enjoy. I think the best colors that you can unlock are red, purple, and maybe blue. The other colors are not bright enough for a, for me, I guess. I'll go with that. Orange is fire, not gonna lie. Hey, let's go. I'm just glad you're enjoying those uh, free trails, right? What do you say to that, Clementine? Was it like the anniversary of it last year or something? Right, let's go up there again and not die. So 
Are you a boss? This guy can parry too. Mm. Shit, I might have to go again. How did that miss? Yeah, so far, this is the hardest enemy that I fought. Ooh, and then get fucked, bitch. That was sick. That actually was sick. He parried my attack, and when he was gonna counterattack me, I parried his counterattack. That that was actually pretty cool. Ding, 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 and then you get a cool like animation for that. That actually is pretty badass. Also, that's probably harder than the boss in this game. Oof. Oh, you're at seventy? That's not bad. What are you doing, Vengeance? Uh, quick question. Like, when you finish a race, are you exiting the level and doing another race? Or how, how are you uh, getting your matches done? No, I never have time to play it. I remember I promised myself to play it last year. Oh, Well, at least you're, you're playing it this year, right? And that's all that matters. Now, let's check out what's over here. Yeah. Nice. Shotgun. Azura Damascus Ignit. Ingot? A rare metal with a pale bluish tint. Use it as reinforcing metal. Uh, what do you do with it, though? That's what I care about. Maybe it's something... Oh, okay, it says right there. I almost feel like this, is, this was supposed to be the default look for your character. All your other friends have, like, this nice-looking armor, and then you're just coming in shirtless. Yeah, no, I feel like this was supposed to be the default armor, and they're like, what if we made people pay for the default armor? At least we cleared that area. That's pretty cool. But yeah, Vengeance, I only say that because um, if you're doing one speedrun, then quit and go to find another match for a speedrun, quit and then keep on doing that. It's going to take you a long time to finish those missions. The quickest way to do those missions, uh, I think I even said it yesterday, as soon as you finish a lap, press retry and keep on doing it as quickly as you can. That way, one match, if you get like five like wins, that's five wins in one race, right? Instead of going to five different uh, races. I didn't go here before. Oh, same here, Clementine. Don't even worry. Here's a move, so. One who searches for something out of reach, beyond control. You gonna give me better armor? Who do you serve, I wonder? You know about me. I turn my eye to the human world when I choose. I'm Sargon. I serve Persia as one of the immortals. Immortals, you say? Hmm. Interesting. Well, immortal. You stand before a true immortal. Yeah. Uh -oh. Kahiva, goddess and blacksmith to the gods. 
I forged their greatest weapons. Have you forged weapons for mortals? I've served mortals from time to time. King Darius's sword was some of my finest work. Few other mortals are worthy. Am I, worthy? I had no idea that in Mount Calf, gods and goddesses walked among humans. It was so. The curse altered everything. Some gods disappeared into other strands of destiny. But I remain. I'm one of the lucky ones. And I can be one. My forge protected me from the winds of time. Either way, nothing feels the same now. Would you forge for a mortal again? For a few time crystals? We might come to an agreement. The characters like you, I don't care about your shit, just... Will you work for me? Understand this. Even in the skewed reach of time, a mortal's life is insignificant. Welcome. Do you wish something forged? Slightly increase the damage of arrows? Sick. Slightly decreases the power of incoming melee attacks? Better. Collect time crystals from a distance? Eh, and that's only if, like, crystals fall into, like, the wall when it shouldn't. Slight increase in swords damage? Oh my gosh. Um, slight increase in bow and truck room damage? Eh, not bad. Oh, we can increase how much we have. Although, I'm noticing these items, uh, this upgrade involves uh, the silver ignit. Ingots! Let's upgrade our sword. Kinda wish they looked a little bit different. Maybe they look different when you get the last upgrade. If you find time. Uh oh. Oh, I can use that? I guess not. Okay, cool. So there's a person that uh, upgrades your weapons, and there's someone else that upgrades uh, everything else. No, there's a lot of people that are afraid of that kind of time. What brings you here, Clever? Welcome. Now I'll be good at that. My vision. No, that, that's what you gotta do, uh, Vengeance. If you wanna finish that mission as quickly as you can, you're doing it the perfect way, right? Just keep on um, redoing the race until uh, until the until the game says you got one minute left or the last lap, right? Another gold, uh, silver ingot. How do we get it down? Gotta use your brain. This could grab it for me, right? Hmm. 
Honestly, I don't think either of the modes give uh, XP. I think the only reason you get XP for rocket racing is because you're doing missions. I think the only mode that casually gives you XP while you're playing it is uh, Lego. Because I don't even think uh, cre uh, Festival gives you XP, right? Alright, we're getting closer to the end of the Ow! Nice kill. I want to parry that. If anything, maybe you can't red, uh, parry red attacks. That could also be a thing, too. Damn. That was really cool. Well, I will say, casually playing the regular rocket racing mode will rank you up, and getting uh, rank ups will give you XP for your battle pass. So. You could do that, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. At the end of the day, just complete the battle pass however you want to. Just have fun with it. It doesn't have to be a chore. Or something you got to do just because you have it. You just get the items that you want. So you just can't block the red ones. I think when you go there, you can't go back, so let's check out uh, what's behind. Uh -oh. oh, this is how I usually play uh, demos. We play one time like an idiot, just seeing what we can do, and then the second time we use all the mechanics we've learned and see how fun the game can be at its fullest potential. I know I'm not showing this game off at its fullest potential, but shit. If my dumbass can do some cool things, I know all of you can do much greater things. Yeah. For real. Now that's just cute. Okay, I wanted to get that game. Maybe you get a double jump later in the game or something? I actually don't know how you're supposed to get that. Who put these traps there? Also, I love how I still messed that up.
No killing the bird. I feel like the only enemy that's really been giving me a hard time the second playthrough back is uh, the enemy that was able to counterattack me. Which I feel like that's going to be the norm, the norm later in the game, so... I'm glad they gave you one super hard enemy to fight against in this game. And heck, maybe the enemy that kept on hitting me with a red attack, which I feel like you can still parry, but I don't know. Maybe someone's gonna tell me, or I'm gonna find out later. Uh, you actually can't parry any of the red enemies, any red attacks. See if they use this coming to PlayStation, right, Incognito? So no one gets golden bones, please. There's definitely a secret here, but I don't think we can get into like the whole game. Uh, see, like, what's that? You, uh, like, what's that? Can't drink the can. You think Skull and Bones will die down because of it? Oh, 100%. See if they use this is gonna kill Skull and Bones 100%. Especially if it comes out cheaper, 100% gonna die to it. Skull and Bones is a game that people have been asking for since, uh, since Assassin's Creed 3, and I think that game came out in, what, 20, like, 10 or some shit? Like, people have been asking for a pirate game from Ubisoft for a long time, and how did it take Ubisoft, like, 12 plus years to make a game like that? I don't understand, so... The thing is, even if, like, I don't know, Skull and Bones has better, like, graphics than Sea of Thieves, Sea of Thieves has had, like, five plus years of content, so... If, as long as we don't get, like, the day one version of Sea of Thieves, like, when it came out, players are gonna have a lot of, th a lot of things to be able to do in, um, Sea of Thieves when it comes out to PlayStation. Tech, you can actually, like, board a pirate, sh an enemy ship like a pirate and feel like a pirate in that. Uh, sea of Thieves, you can't even do that in Skull and Bones, so... There we go. It's funny and sad because, like, one of them is an old game and one of them is a new game that just came out and... More people are gonna play the old game because it has more to do than the newer game. Uh, like, uh, like I said, that... Uh, that's my own opinion and I would actually be surprised if I was wrong and people actually really love um, see if uh, people love more skull and bones and see if these but I don't see how that could be possible at the end of the day gamer is going to play whatever a gamer wants to play right If you're talking like the the like seventies or eighties like style that Security Breach has, unfortunately I can't really think of many other games like that. Unless you play something like Hala in Miami, but I think you're asking more like stealth uh, horror games like Security Breach, if you can even call it that. I mean, apparently Secure Breach was uh, uh, inspired by Alien Isolation, so 
If you want to check that game out, maybe it could be your thing. Well, that's why I really enjoy Security Breach, even though, like, it's not a good game. There's not really a game that has that aesthetic and style that Security Breach has. I think I went up last time, right? Yeah, let's go down. Finish him! That was too easy. I want to say it's because we used the, um, our super there. Insignia of Persepolis. Persepolis? Kosro was always very fond of Bijan, even commissioned Morza to write a poem about him. Kroso was first in the recruitment line when we when he saw that Bijan had joined Adashir's men. We need we need some like vocals for this, please. I need to know how, I'm, how to pronounce these names. That's cool. Uh, I'm gonna consider that like a hidden mini boss. So this location is not really a free roam game like this, but you can only go to... E exactly. So for the first like free roam game, it wasn't that bad. I was expecting it to be more like Rune, which was very linear, but uh, thankfully it wasn't. Granted, like once you've really played a lot, you'll realize it's still linear, but it gave you some choice. Third place and second? GG's. The more your top three uh, vengeance, the more the faster you'll be able to finish those missions, and you'll realize uh, just how much XP you get whenever you level up. It's crazy. But like I say, just play the game however you want to. Don't feel like you have to uh, grind the game out just to finish a battle pass or to get a specific item, because then you will start hating Fortnite over the game more and more. But yeah, we're almost close to the end, so let's uh, finish this up, and then that's going to be the stream for tonight. If anything, uh, we'll, we'll, like I said, we'll see if I stream on Twitch later. I want to kind of chill for a bit. And if I don't stream, uh, then don't worry, we'll play Fortnite all day tomorrow. My plan was either play a demo and then Fortnite later, and then do the same thing tomorrow, but I guess today we just played two demos, which I'm okay with. I'm actually glad we did, because... As much as I am having fun with this game, this game's like 9 gigs, so I'm like, I don't really need to have uh, this demo installed if I'm not playing it, right? So Now when this game goes on sale, then I'll get it and re-download it, but yeah. One wanted to play this, check it out, see how it, how it is, and then maybe see if I'm interested in it. And uh, yeah, everything's good except the price. That's really it. You went for 15 to 19 and 2 matches? 50 what? Like how many more laps you gotta do? Cause that's kinda weird. Your life 
Let's see how much the standard edition costs right now. Oh, it's only sixty nine ninety nine Canadian, which after tax comes to seventy nine dollars and nine cents. So, um, I mean, if if you're a super Metroidvania fan, you're, it doesn't matter the price; you're always going to get it, especially if it's a good Metroidvania. I'm not saying like you're just going to buy any Metroidvania game, but a good Metroidvania game is worth the price. To me, um. I'll I'll wait for a sale. These this game should have probably been like thirty bucks, but obviously they put a lot more time and effort than a thirty dollar game, which is why it it costs the way it does. But I don't the the way I see yeah it, it costs that much in Canada. It's probably gonna cost less wherever you are. But like th this is how I see games. I could either buy this game for seventy nine dollars, or I could buy the Tomb Raider collection for like forty five dollars, which that's still a bunch of money. But I'm getting three games that I've never played in my life before. With the extra DLC that no one else has played in their life before. So I'm getting like three games for the price of like one in a way. Now, yes, yeah, someone could say I haven't played this game either. So this is a new experience. And you're not wrong. But at the end of the day, it is a Metroidvania. So it's 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 not going to be that much different from uh, the Mummy D Mastered. It's just uh, now we're using melee weapons and parrying instead of just shooting everything, right? So... Um, yeah, like I said, I would get it if it was cheaper, but because it's it costs the same amount of price of, like, Elder Scrolls, or Elden, uh, Elden Rings, or, or, like, actual big games, like, this this game costs the same amount of pr money that Spider-Man 2 on the PS5 does. You know, it's up to you if you decide, oh yeah, like, it's actually worth that money, but, um, to me, I'll just wait for a sale. Then again, I always say wait for a sale no matter what game I... I uh, I enjoy your praise. I don't think I've ever said, yo, buy this game right now. That's how good it is. Unless it's a demo. Then, yeah, I'll be like, hey, try it out, right? What are activate turbo bonus zone? That's a tough one. Uh, Go to the green boosts. I think that's what it means, all right? And I am not... Well, actually, let's just check it. Ah, deluxe edition is just seventy nine ninety nine. So what, like 10 bucks more? Yeah. But yeah, we'll return to this game when uh, when it's on sale, and hopefully by then maybe Prince of Persia: The Sands of Time, Sands of Time Remastered slash Remake comes out. If not, then oh well. <laughs> Spider-Man Two went on sale for like thirty-five dollars. Thank you very much, Vengeance. And the, and that that's American, right? So over here that would be like what, maybe like forty dollars, forty-five dollars. Either way, it's still cheaper than this game. Now, like I said. Gamers, buy whatever you want, especially if you have fun with it. But this gamer here is going to save their money so we can buy other games to play. Like, for example, next month I'm going to be getting Star Wars Battlefront Collection. And if that game costs $69.99, I'm going to buy it. It's still a lot of money. It shouldn't cost that much, but I'm going to get it because that game means that much to me. Plus, you're getting two games with multiplayer with a bunch of players that I don't think the original PS2 version was able to handle 64 players. So, like, you're getting a lot. So, at the end of the day, if it's worth it to you, then buy it. If you're like, yo, this is a lot of money and I don't think I'll play this or enjoy it, then don't get it, all right? But I can only speak for myself, and all of you will have to decide that on your own. So, uh, like I always say, do research, watch videos, maybe play a demo if you get a chance, and if... If you're really enjoying the game, then go for it. If not, wait for a sale. For example, the two demos we played today, both of them were amazing. But one of them cost less than the other, so I know which one I would rather buy. <laughs> if you're damn God of War 2018 is $10 right now, which I would say God of War 2018 would probably give you as much time, that uh, as much game time as a Metroidvania game would. If you're going for trophies and 100% thing, that is. But um, everyone's different. Everyone plays uh, games however they want to, so just do whatever you want. But also, I don't want to play that game, Vengeance. I'd rather play this game than God of War 2018. So. Yeah.
Maybe we should have a joke stream tomorrow where I play God of War for an hour and 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 fall asleep to it. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I, I guess we'll just end it here, right? So, is, is there even credits to this game? And here it wasn't that bad. If you're down, return to Arkham is ten dollars right now, I think. Five dollars? Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'd rather buy that. What's Return to Arkham? That that comes with like a bunch of games, right? Like how how many games are in Return to Arkham? So apparently Suicide Squad uh, didn't uh, do that well, which is kind of funny. Or sad, depending on how you look at it. Two games, and the second game comes with DLC? Hey, look at that. That's actually amazing. I'll take a look at that um, at the store right now and probably put it on my like wish list. Just so if it goes cheaper or if it's uh, the right price, then we get it. All right. But also, I got to make sure not to like buy too many games because... We just bought Tomb Raider and we haven't even finished the first game, so I, I should probably finish the games I buy. That's another thing too. Lots of people buy games when they come out and they don't finish it. And hey, at the end of the day, do whatever you want with your money. But like, if I don't play Tomb Raider and finish it soon, it's probably going to go on sale. And then I'll be like, damn, I could have waited till it went on sale to buy it, right? So, uh... Hey, no, please, like I always say, give me suggestions. I'm just going to let you guys know that uh, some some uh, playthroughs might take a while because uh, we got to finish other stuff. But hey, I'm glad uh, we actually had time to play these two demos today because that was pretty cool. I know. Yeah, I think we're kind of done here, everyone. Let's see, 2 hours, 49 minutes. Yes. So, yeah, we're going to end it here, and then we're just going to, I guess, enjoy the rest of the night however we want to. Or day, depending on where you live, all right? So, let's do the outro. I would like to thank each and every one of you for stopping by today, tonight. You have been watching I Am Destruction with Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. Specifically the PS5 demo. <laughs> Always got to make sure you say that. Always got to make sure you say that. But you're all destroyers, therefore, you are destruction. And when we team up with each other, we are destruction. So have an amazing day, night, week, weekend, month, and 2024 year. But until next time, have a good one. <gasps> Take care, Clementine. Whenever vengeance edits, Incognito, Desco Dev. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Who else stop by? Overall Games. Hey, thank you very much for the conversations. Uh, anyone else that I missed out? Hopefully not. I think we're good. And I'll do my best incognito to uh <laughs> to get a uh, Metal Gear for you, alright? That's also gonna take a while to finish. But take care, and as always remember to live your best life. Wahoo. See you tomorrow for some Fortnite. Hopefully we'll play Lego and BR, okay? So if anyone wants to join, you're more than welcome to. Until then. Bye!